women visit the tomb. Mark chapter 16, verse 1. Saturday evening, when the Sabbath had ended, Mary Magdalene, Salome, and Mary the mother of James went out and purchased burial spices so they could anoint Jesus' body. Luke chapter 24, verse 1. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices that they had purchased. The stone was rolled away. Mark chapter 16, verse 3. On the way, they were asking each other, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? Matthew chapter 28, verses 2 and 4. Suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothes was white as snow. The guards shook with fear when they saw him, and they fell into a dead faint. Mark chapter 16, verse 4. But as they arrived, they looked up and they saw the stone, which was very large, had been rolled aside. Luke chapter 24, verses 3 through 6. So they went in, but they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. 24 verses 9 through 12. So they rushed back from the tomb to tell the 11 disciples and everyone else what had happened. John chapter 20 verses, verse 2. She ran away and found Simon and Peter and the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loves. She said, they have taken the Lord's body out of the tomb and we don't know where they have put him. Luke chapter 24 verse 10. It was Mary Magdalene. Joanne, Mary, the mother of James, and several other women who told the apostles what had happened. But the story sounded like nonsense to the men, so they didn't believe it. Chapter 20, verses 3 through 10. Peter and the other disciples started out for the tomb. They were both running, but the other disciples outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He stooped and he looked in and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter arrived and went inside. He also noticed the linen wrappings lying there. While the cloth that had covered Jesus' head was folded up and lying apart from the other wrappings, then the disciples who had reached the tomb first also went in. And he saw and he believed. For until then, they still had not understood the scripture that Jesus must rise from the dead. Then they went home. Christ appears to Mary Magdalene. John chapter 20, verses 11 through 18. Mary was standing outside of the tomb crying as she wept. She stooped and looked in. She saw two white-robed angels, one sitting at the head and the other at the foot of the place where the body of Jesus had been lying. Dear woman, why are you crying? The angel asked her. Because they have taken away my Lord, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. She turned to leave and saw someone standing there. It was Jesus, but she did not recognize him. Dear woman, why are you crying? Jesus asked her. Who are you looking for? She thought he was the gardener. Sir, she said, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and get him. Mary, Jesus said. She turned to him and cried out, Rabboni, which is Hebrew for teacher. Don't cling to me, Jesus said, for I have yet ascended to the Father. But go, find my brothers, and tell them that I am ascending to my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. To the other women. Matthew chapter 28, verse 10. Then Jesus said to them, Don't be afraid. Go tell the brothers to leave for Galilee, and they will see me there. John chapter 20, verse 18. Mary Magdalene found the disciples and told them, I have seen the Lord. Then she gave him his message. Guards report to Jewish rulers. Matthew chapter 28, verses 11 through 15. As the women were on their way, some of the guards went into the city and told the leading priests what had happened. A meeting with the elders was called, and they decided to give the soldiers a large bribe. They told the soldiers, You must say, Jesus' disciples came during the night while we were sleeping, and they stole his body. If the governor hears about it, We'll stand up for you so you won't get in trouble. So the guards accepted the bribe and said what they were told to say. Their story spread wildly among the Jews, and they still tell it today. It appears to the astonished disciples. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3-7 through seven. I pass on to you what is most important and what 
had also been passed on to me. Christ died for our sins, just as the scripture said. He was buried and he was raised from the dead. On the third day, just as the scripture said, he was seen by Peter and the twelve. After that, he was seen by more than 500 of his followers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he was seen by James and later by all the apostles. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 12 through 23. But tell me this, since we preach that Christ rose from the dead, why are some of you saying that there will be no resurrection of the dead? For if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised either. And if Christ has not been raised, then all our preaching is useless, and your faith is useless. And we, apostles, would all be lying about God. For we have said that God raised Christ from the grave. But that can't be true if there is no resurrection of the dead. And if there is no resurrection of the dead, then Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then your faith is useless, and you are still guilty of your sins. In that case, all who have died believing in Christ are lost. And if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. But in fact, Christ has been raised from the dead. He is the first of the great harvest of all who have died. So you see, just as death came into the world through a man, now the resurrection from the dead has begun through another man. Just as everyone dies because we belong to Adam, everyone who belongs to Christ will be given new life. But there is an order to this resurrection. Christ was raised at the first harvest. Then all who belong to Christ will be raised when he comes back.